scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. God wants to increase us. Motion is a sign of life. Stagnation is a sign of death. So God wants us to move forward. But you see, God's system is such that you never leave where you are to the next level until you thank him sufficiently for where you are. Hallelujah. Guilt, not guilt in a negative way, will never allow me to dare complain before God. There are too many stories in my life that show the faithfulness of God. I will be wicked and heartless to ever claim he's not faithful. So for me, if I do not have a language of gratitude, I'd rather not speak. I'd rather sing and worship him. There are too many reasons in my life. I am a testimony of how God can take a man from nothing to something. How would I be so stupid to complain? Shout around. He's giving me what money cannot buy. His presence. Listen. If you have a property, they call you a rich man. But someone can bully you and collect it. The government can seize it from you. Are we together? If you have investments all over the world, they call you a business mogul. But everything can crash and fail in one day. Are we together? If you have a political position, it is not infinite, it is not everlasting. Are we together? Even if you are a monarch, the reality of death and time can catch up with you. But when he gives you his presence, there is no way to find it and collect it from you. It's not a commodity that belongs to this earth realm. It's a reality that is beyond this realm. It will buy anything the presence of God is the master capital. It's bigger than land. Bigger than degrees. Bigger than anything. Please believe me. The most expensive commodity is the presence of God. When you have it, you have access to kings and their treasures. When you have it, you have access to businessmen and their wisdom. When you have it, you have access to royalties and their sacrifices. They will bring to you the rewards of their years of labor and beg you to collect it in exchange for the presence of God. Never, never you think the presence of God is just a way of feeling spiritual. Then you quickly feel spiritual. Then you concentrate on what you think will make you successful. No, only a fool does that. The presence of God gave the nation of Israel gold and silver in one day, what they could not get in 430 years. The presence of God became for them a pillar of cloud by day and of fire by night. Hallelujah. You know, Sometimes 
when you hear a man of God talk so much about the presence of God please look up it's easy to think the man of God is speaking because his life is now comfortable you know that's what people think in church when a preacher is talking like this you know they feel like ah, you are doing well you are enjoying why will you not talk about the presence of God but you need to ask how the person started and what brought the person to the current level are we together what you are seeing now is not a seed it's a harvest are we together yes never covet any man's glory pay attention to the story the story reveals the process the story reveals the sacrifice we live in a generation where we are obsessed with results and that is important but we focus so much on the end of the results we want finished products but we do not pay attention to how the things are made hallelujah what you are learning will give you anything you admire now so forget about the admiration and focus on the training the training will inevitably bring you to the place of glory father help us tonight in the name of jesus bless you good evening everybody just turn to your left and right and tell your neighbor good evening hallelujah praise the lord all right pick up your pen paper let's get to work there's a lot to do the glory revealed part two last week we started a series the glory revealed it's a series that is supposed to guide us excuse me and teach us the principles how a man's life can become a reflection of all the possibilities that consist in god hallelujah please try to get last week's teaching is free you can get it after the service especially for those who are online following us there are so many people and we love you you're part of us the lord honor you in jesus name and i spoke to us last week and i started laying a foundation that the pursuit of godliness please listen the pursuit of godliness the pursuit of relevance in the kingdom begins with an encounter say an encounter the journey of a believer does not start with learning principles and laws and formulas business people teach you that if you want to arrive get formula a add it to b and that's important but anytime you begin to study anything outside of an encounter first it will waste your time and lead you to error because the kingdom is regulated by a person not just systems it is a person who created the systems so you have to encounter the person christ are we together so your journey does not begin by learning about tithes and offerings all the laws that we shared in the series before this they are very important but you must start with an encounter when you meet the person then he will guide you because the bible says there is a way that seemeth right there is a method there is a formula it seems right to a man but the bible says the end thereof are the ways of death and um, we discuss the concept of glory i'm just doing a quick recap how that glory refers to the essence of a thing the character are we together the 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 word glory is from the hebrew word kabod the greek word is doxa it's a reflection of the true nature when the true nature of a thing is expressed we call it the glory of that thing are we together now and then another interesting understanding of the word glory is the possibilities that that's the one i want us to pay attention to is the one that is relevant in this series the glory of a man means all the possibilities that are inherent within the man the glory of this mic is revealed in its ability to amplify sound are we together when you go to buy this mic now and they tell you this singular mic i'm holding is say two hundred thousand. you look at this until you connect it to something then you will see the potentials are we together this is two hundred thousand, for instance because it has an ability to amplify my sound so i can stand here and speak and people down the second overflow and everywhere can hear 
So the glory of this mic is the possibility inherent in it. Are we together now? So when we talk of the glory of God, it refers to all the possibilities that are encapsulated in the person God. And that is reflected in the person Christ because Christ is the full expression of the image of God. Are we together? So Jesus came to open us up Revealed to us the glory of the Father. An example of the manifestation of that glory was seen in the healings. When he came to people, they never knew he had the supernatural ability to heal. And so he would tell someone, pick up your mat, stand up and go. Glory revealed. I did tell us last week that until glory is revealed, it cannot be appreciated. Glory that is concealed cannot be appreciated. If you buy a phone, the pack is only a packaging, but the real product is inside. If you keep the pack, even if it's for 10 years, it will not profit you. But when you open it, then you see the content and you appreciate everything that is there. There are phones, for instance, that can just make calls, text messages, and a few things. There are other phones that can browse at, at a level of speed. You can connect to several things, watch videos, and the rest. Those possibilities are the glory in the phone, which is an expression of the wisdom of the company that made it. So the phone reflects the excellency of Samsung or any other LG or whatever product. Are we together now? So Christ came as a manifestation of the glory of God. The invisible God, Yahweh, found earthly expression. And everything Jesus did was a sample of what God can do. He didn't show us everything. He only showed us small and said, you continue. And he sent the spirit of glory are we together to continue. So the Bible was not supposed to just end with Jesus. We are epistles. We are an unfolding of other dimensions of glory that are possible. If Jesus were still on the earth, would have written more than would have written. Probably there would have been an episode where he walked on a zinc and came down. Probably there would have been an episode where he made a dry ground to be full of water. But the Holy Spirit came and through Jesus showed us an example that we should follow in his steps. So the goal of this series is to teach us the mystery behind spiritual alignment that can make a man become a reflector of the glory of God. That all there is, all that there is to you is not just your human nature. There is more. Say amen. amen. So the glory of a thing reflects the possibilities. And um, we began to explain how that one of the keys to experiencing the glory of God is to believe that there is such a possibility. You see, brothers and sisters, God is not a man that you should lie. Are we together? Not the son of man that he should repent. If a Jimmy has 50,000 hidden in his suit pocket, is hidden and we cannot see it. If he tells me and says, I have 50,000, my attitude towards him will show whether I believe it or not. Are we together? If I tell you right now on this table, there is a phone, there is this, assuming you cannot see it, Anything you cannot see, you will have to use my person to validate your trust because you cannot see it. Are we together? So faith is that response that is entirely based on your perception of who God is. Because until there is a manifestation, you do not yet know. Once you have seen it once and again, it's no longer faith. It's called trust. Trust is based on a track record. Of a man's experience faith is based on your knowledge of his person if I tell you after service there will be free bus transport to take you assuming you are a new person who just came here it's up to you to look at me and gauge could this person be lying and then if you wish you can ask somebody who has had an experience with me the last time he spoke like this was there a boss 
and the person tells you yes so you believe not because you have seen a boss you believe because you think i am too big to lie to you that's what faith is predicated upon so when god says i want to reveal my glory it's up to you to first believe could god be joking is he playing games with me does he have the ability to back up his claims and this is why we have the bible the bible is a compendium of god's speakings versus their manifestations in the life of people abraham i will make you at the end of it he made abraham he told gideon you're a mighty man of valor at the end of it Gideon became a mighty man. He told the apostles you will receive power at the end of it. The Bible says, then he swore by himself that by these two immutable things, it will be impossible for God to lie to the end that you may find a consolation that every time you see God speak, you take him seriously. Say, I believe in God. Say it again, I believe in God. Hallelujah. Today I want you to open up your spirit because I believe with all my heart that what I'm about to share with you will truly bless you. In the part two of this series, we are going to be considering the anointing. The glory revealed part two. We are looking at the anointing. That agency that can help men to reveal the possibilities in God. I said to you how that the glory of a man, listen please, is an unveiling of the possibilities that are in that man but there is a spiritual agency that empowers men to reveal this possibility the name given to it is the anointing acts chapter 1 verse 8 hmm. please be very sensitive a lot will happen tonight a lot will happen tonight this series is meant to truly bring an anointing to your life that you can hold on to it you can run with it and you can take every mountain that stands before you say amen acts chapter 1 verse 8 let's read together one to read but ye shall receive what hold on you shall receive the word power there is the word dunamis it's not the word exousia. There are many words that are translated power and authority interchangeably. Two of them that are very important is exousia and dunamis. Exousia is erroneously translated power in many places in scripture. But exousia is not power. Exousia is an authorization. The capacity to stand in the office of someone and represent him is called exousia. But this is not exousia. This talks of force. The agency that compels compliance. It's called power. Dunamis. So it says you shall receive power. After, read on, that the Holy Ghost is what? Come upon you. What will that power make you do? Read on. It says and ye shall be unto me. Where? In Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. So his idea is that you become witnesses. Who is a witness? A witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true. Are we together? If we are in the court, for instance, please pay attention. I'm establishing a lot. If we are in the court of law, right, and someone stole my phone and while he was stealing it promise saw the person are we together and now we're in the court of law and i say no this guy sam stole my phone the judge will ask do you have any witness and then we will bring promise let's assume promise was snapping and in the process of snapping he snapped the man picking it that is the evidence a witness is only a witness because he has an evidence. Without an evidence, you cannot be a witness. Please listen. Without an evidence, you cannot be a witness. I can be, I mean, a Jimmy can be my brother, but in this case, he cannot be a witness. He can support me in prayer, but when we stand in court, he does not have evidence everybody say evidence i'm building a case here 
So promise comes before the judge. And then he says, are you a witness to this? He says, yes. Produce your evidence. Then he produces a photo. And that photo shows the person stealing. And based on that evidence, the judge. So the evidence is the power that has forced the phone to return back to me. The anointing is the proof that you are a witness. The anointing is the evidence. When you stand in this court of life. And life places a demand on you to prove that God is with you. When your family background brings before you a mountain to prove whether God is with you. When the limitation in Nigeria stands before you and says you are a Christian, prove that God is with you. He says you must receive power. The authorization. You cannot be a witness. So you are going around telling people Jesus saves. And they are saying, what do you mean Jesus saves? Buddha also saves. So what is your evidence? And then the person levitates in the air. This is my evidence. Buddha empowered me. And they say, what is your evidence? And then you say, baba, baba, baba. And they say, nonsense. That's not evidence. Hmm. Are we together? When someone comes up on the scene and says, I am a free mason. I worship the flying dragon of Asia. The spirit called Mammon. And this is the evidence. I have built empires by her wisdom. What is your evidence? And then you say, I'm a Christian. I'm just going to heaven. What is your evidence? Please pay attention to tonight's service. Because life will ask you that question. I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. I'm not one of those religious people. I took time to ask God questions before I started ministry. Because the world will ask me questions. You will stand before businessmen who are idol worshippers. The spirit will give them ideas and they will move forward. And you come ranting and speaking like a fool. You will stand before arrows that fly by day. And noisome pestilences. What is your evidence? When there is a plague moving and it does not affect you, it's an evidence that there is another life in you. Please hear me. This is what I'm trying to teach you in this series. There must be an evidence. Let me tell you why we are talking too much in church. A believer was never designed to be a noisemaker. We were designed to be proof producers. Our noise is a, is a cover up for insufficient evidence. Do you know you can be in a court and speak and the lawyer will say this evidence is not strong enough. There are few things the church is doing that unbelievers are not doing. Very few. Very few. I have studied a lot on world religions. I study a lot on religions and so many things. Christianity is not the fastest growing religion. I hope you are aware. I will tell you why. Because our strategy is wrong. They have proposed strategies that are not very effective. The religions that represent the fastest growing religions, you never see crusades. Are we together? You never see tracts. You never see people with talking, moving with Bibles all around. But there is a harvest per second, per second. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working. It's God's ability. God's ability. Lay your hands on your head in one minute and pray and say, Lord, there must be an evidence. An evidence. I'm tired of bringing mockery to your name. And misrepresenting you. Go ahead and pray. Shaka ta ba 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 ba.
He shall receive power. Power. Not stories. Power. Not stories. Power. Shake it, take 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 Hallelujah. Please sit down. Fire is burning in this place, I tell you. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Please help us, media. I came to challenge you. The way we are doing church and Christianity, we are about to disappoint God. We need evidences. Not evidences just from preachers. Are we together? I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. I'm not one of those people they like, they say, just believe, don't worry in his time. No way. No way. No way. Before Gideon accepted the assignment, he asked questions. Before Mary accepted, she, she said, how shall these things be? Because according to my knowledge, a man and a woman will produce pregnancy. But he said the power of the highest. In other words, there is another root in the spirit. You have known that it's only a man and a woman. You have known that you only wait for five years to get a job, but there is another root. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. See, I bring you another way. There is not only one way of doing things. The world has created their way. But God has his way. How God anointed Jesus. Let me tell you what that means. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus. Of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who was anointed this way? Jesus. He was not anointed three days to the cross. He would have had 33 years of wasted experience and three days of impact. He was anointed before. How many of us have been taught to start moving without empowerment? He says, as a result of that, who went about doing what? Doing good. An example of the good he did was to heal all that were oppressed of the devil. That was not the only good he did. He multiplied bread, doing good by the anointing. He forced money inside the mouth of a fish, doing good by the anointing. He multiplied bread and fish by the anointing. He calmed the storm by the anointing. He vindicated a woman who was on her way to death by the anointing. He raised the dead by the anointing. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Divine presence bringing the anointing in the life of Jesus and Jesus moved around doing good. You are going around trying to do good. Willing to do good. Meaning to do good. But good is not coming because good is not just a desire. There is an empowerment. Men are empowered to do good. I want to help the poor. There is an anointing that helps you to do good. Write this down. What is the anointing? Please participate and listen patiently and carefully. Those outside in any of the overflows, just pay attention. You may be standing, but listen. Number one. The anointing is God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him. The anointing is God's seal of authorization upon a man, upon any man, not a preacher. God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him. 
every military man has a uniform the uniform is a seal of authorization when the military man is in mufti he has no right to do certain things but when he wears his uniform his uniform and his badge is a seal of authorization are we together mm. Paul said Paul I Paul a man approved of God with miracles signs and diverse manifestations approved of God that is the evidence of my apostleship hallelujah so number one God's seal of authorization upon a man to represent him number two the anointing is God's capacity to produce change and compel compliance write it down underline compel because we live in a stubborn world that will not change by desire it takes power to change things it takes power to change genotype from SS to AA it takes power to change a cancerous cell to a healthy cell it takes power to raise the dead it takes power to prosper hallelujah are we together it takes power to prosper we all want to prosper but we neglect the place of power many people bow to gods bow to spirits receive power from them they sacrifice children turn them upside down and drain their blood and the man takes his pen upon that blood and goes to sign a proposal and end, whenever you see it you must approve it that's power and yet many believers just move around and they ask you why should you get this proposal you say I'm sincere welcome to the world where only mantles speak your long story and English will not do you much when Moses went to Pharaoh he said Pharaoh this is what the Lord said Pharaoh said nonsense he said my rod continue the conversation I don't have time for this rubbish Janus and Jembez brought their own rod when he swallowed it Moses said take note of this I'm coming back and he left after nine plagues Pharaoh was still hardened then the Bible says yet one more plague will I bring upon Pharaoh and the nation of Israel he says afterwards he shall let you go and he didn't let them go the Bible says they were driven to go out they didn't wait for their dough to rise to make chinchi. They were in a hurry. They made it anyhow because a man was tired. May you anoint in weary darkness to let you go. I'm not motivating you. There is an unction a man can carry. No matter how mad a man is, he will not enter fire by mistake. Give him two minutes. That madness will rearrange itself until it comes out because fire was not designed to fear the bible says he maketh his angels winds numa spirits and his ministers flames of fire there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. So break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Please look up. Someone came to me and said, every night there's a spirit that comes to him and oppresses him. Just when things are about to happen, a stranger steps into his room and I said it's because that stranger has not seen power the Bible says no man can enter a man's house and spoil him what will you first do discuss suggest bind the strong man he says and then you spoil his goods everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen I prophesy to you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen sing it 
it one more time. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Please sit down. Have you seen someone steal a laptop because he saw a room empty and you steal the laptop and run away with it? Are we together? Run away with the laptop because you are more powerful than the person then what does the owner do he goes to the police station and carries a policeman are we together they hold guns and they enter a van then they come and meet the owner after two weeks and say we are going to kill you power above his power what does he do he shows you the laptop is still lying down there quietly and he carries it the Bible says when you catch a thief, if he gives you back what he has stolen, he has still cheated you, he will restore tenfold. That profit must be added. In the realm of the spirit, when you catch a thief, he doesn't pay back what he has stolen because time would have gone. Are we together? If the breakthrough had come in 2005, by now, you would have helped many people. So now that it did not come, I'm not just going to receive it like that. If you receive it, you did. It was not restoration. It was just progress continued. Mm. The capacity to produce change and compel compliance. If Buhari announces right now and says tomorrow is public holiday, assuming tomorrow were a working day, immediately he speaks all the armed forces and the military people and paramilitary he is using authority not power what he's using is exousia his office as a president to speak but dunamis are the soldiers so they move on the street with cane guns tear gas and uh, black maria what are they doing compelling compliance if they find you roaming around still trying to sell drugs in your pharmacy they ask you did you not hear what the president said and then you, they hop you into the black maria and penalize you god makes the statement the earth is the lord's he's waiting for you to create that compliance are we together now mm. number three we're still defining the anointing what is the anointing? The anointing, write it down, is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. The empowerment, the capacity to manifest the possibilities in God. The anointing is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. It's not enough to chorus and say God is love. It's not enough to chorus and say God is mighty. Are we together now? Your life must produce the evidence. Number four, the last definition. What is the anointing? The anointing is the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus Christ. The agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus. There are two things God is obsessed that they be revealed on the earth. Number one is his love. Number two is his sovereignty. His might as the sovereign ruler. That's where the word Lord comes from. There is a desire in God to see his love find expression in the earth. There is a desire in God to see his sovereignty find expression. Hallelujah. There are two dimensions to the anointing. Please just write this quickly. That's not really where we are dwelling. We preach many messages on the anointing, but just for us to know. There are two dimensions of the anointing, broadly speaking. Number one, there is the personal anointing that empowers a man to grow and be like Jesus. There is a personal anointing that empowers a man to grow spiritually and be like Jesus. 
People like Kenneth E. Hagin call it the anointing within. The personal anointing that is for your spiritual growth to, to help you grow to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. It is the anointing that teaches you all things. It is the unction from the Holy One that empowers you. Right? The grace of God has appeared unto all men teaching us to say no. There is the personal anointing. To grow and represent Christ. 1 John 2.20. Media please. 1 John 2.20. That's the first dimension of the anointing. Every believer in Christ is entitled to that dimension of the anointing. Even that dimension itself can grow. Everyone is entitled. Read after me please. One to read. It says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One. And as a result, you know all things. You have an unction whether you are a preacher whatever you, if you are in Christ you are entitled to this dimension of the anointing hallelujah the second dimension of the anointing and trust me I know what I'm saying the second dimension of the anointing is the anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment the second dimension of the anointing is the anointing given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment that is the anointing of your call the anointing of your destiny the anointing of your destiny is not the same as the anointing of your personal spiritual growth is the anointing that backs you up to make sure you fulfill purpose the anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment write this down it is the anointing that reveals your destiny it is the anointing that empowers you to fulfill your assignment on earth that one comes with discovering your call that one comes with discovering your place in life and destiny it doesn't come just because you are born again are we together if God calls you into ministry there is an anointing that follows you if God calls you into business there is an anointing that follows you the moment you assume that position of being an ambassador you are ready to take one of the seven mountains that control humans one of the seven mountains the mountains of religion the mountains of government the mountains of, of, of arts and entertainment, the mountain of media, the mountain of education, the mountain of family, and the mountain of finance. Any one of those mountains God sends you, there is an anointing. Are we together? Because there are rulers of darkness. The Bible tells us, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, he says, but against what? Principalities. Against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are rankings and all these spirits are strategically stationed on this mountain listen to my message give me this mountain there i teach on the spiritual dimension of success success is not just by degrees success is not just by intelligence success is not just by being scientific there is a spirituality because there are giants on every mountain but Caleb said give me this mountain hallelujah so there is an anointing that comes with your call there is an anointing that comes with your assignment when God empowers you he puts an anointing upon your life an anointing upon the ministry he has committed to you are we together there is an anointing upon Benny Hinn that produces that result. Now, let me tell you something about this second dimension of the anointing. Listen. This second dimension of the anointing is not operational anytime. I want you to understand this. Are we together? There is a timing and there are seasons of its operation. This anointing for your assignment is not operational anytime. There are three laws that govern its operation. One, a demand from those who desire to be recipients of it. 
it responds to faith it responds to desire are we together the bible says in acts chapter 4 how that when he was passing the gates beautiful the man was begging for arms and peter told him look on us and he looked at them expecting to receive and he says silver and gold that expectation provokes the anointing blind Bartimaeus cried thou son of david he provoked the anointing that is the anointing people like kenneth e hagen would call the anointing upon it doesn't come all the time anybody that tells you it comes all the time is a liar and doesn't understand anything about the anointing if it's operational in you all the time it will kill you you do not have the physical capacity your body does not have that stamina have you finished preaching and you went back and felt tired it lifted that's what jesus meant by virtue has gone out of me when virtue leaves you prophets in ancient times when the anointing landed upon them for their experience when it lifted some of them were sick for days they had to eat herbs to recover from the stream are we together this anointing is activated at the point of delivery at the point where you have to do that which you were born to do so you can be sleeping in your house the moment there is a demand and it is with respect to your assignment the anointing is like a lion within you are we together that's the reason why you can see a man of god you may not even be able to touch him when he's on stage after the meeting you are hugging him slapping him because something has lifted but if by any mistake you're hugging you apply faith to it it will return that's what makes people just they are laughing and the next thing the power of God because their hunger did not die with the service are we together so many people were touching Jesus and a woman came he said if I may but touch the hem of his garment Jesus was not even aware but it was automatic the moment there was a demand that anointing that messianic anointing that will fulfill Isaiah 61 to bind up the broken hearted The anointing that is given on account of your assignment two scriptures to help us isaiah 61 please will not read it um will not project it just write it isaiah 61 from verse 1 to 4 the spirit of the lord is upon me upon me because he gave me an assignment that requires an authorization so because of that the spirit of the lord is upon me and with that spirit came an anointing to preach glad tidings to bind up the brokenhearted right to set the captives free to open up the doors of prison to declare the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all day that morning zion to give them beauty for ashes a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified the anointing came for that reason jesus reiterated it again in luke chapter 4 when you read from verse 14 to 18 the bible says they brought to him right that which was written by Isaiah the prophet and then he opened it and he began to read the spirit of the lord is upon me and at the end of it he said this day is this scripture fulfilled i have come as a fulfillment of this then he began to do it in one of the synoptic gospels there and then he told a man with a withered hand stretch forth your hand as a proof that i have come What is the purpose of the anointing? I've said it to us, but we must. The purpose is, is encapsulated in the definition. But the purpose of the anointing. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. The Bible says, I'd like us to read it together. It's projected. One, two, read shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed why listen please look up there are yokes there are burdens 
there are afflictions upon the lives and the destinies of men upon the families of men robbing men of their dignity mocking God's statement that he made man like him and it takes the anointing to correct that error are we together the anointing comes to lift burdens the anointing comes to break yokes the anointing comes to open up prison doors to them that are bound number two Psalm 66 verse 3 Psalm 66 verse 3 let's read it please just write it and look up and let's read one to read say unto God uh -huh. read on through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to thee not through the greatness of grammar not through English and negotiation on the strength of the excellency of your power listen let me tell you something you are liable for oppression the moment you find yourself here unfortunately it is not given to you to choose to arrive here are we together the moment you are born there are children who from birth they are already born with all kinds of sicknesses are we together they never chose it is the reality listen let me tell you the moment you cross the second heavens the domain of evil can find expression the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord the Bible says but from the second heavens demonic activities are authorized to find expression down till under the earth that's what happens to children the moment it's not a man and a woman that produces children they just create the body for the child to come but the moment that child arrives right from the interface of the second heavens war begins over the destiny of the child it's left for the father and the mother to be spiritual enough to secure the destiny of the child or careless enough to allow anything happen are we together yeah that is why you hear that children are initiated from the womb how can you initiate a child whose faculty of reasoning is not there are we together is it not in your bible that john was filled with the holy ghost from the womb how did he pray in tongues how did he manifest that hallelujah I want to show you four keys to accessing the anointing this this is the place where I want us to be sensitive now because you are not only going to hear you are going to receive Amen. hallelujah please believe me you are not going to hear alone you are going to receive Amen. I enter the holy of holy I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. I enter the Holy of Holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you for fire. Kaba kaba ya for fire. For fire. Lord. 
can make tonight your night of encounter listen there was a time in my life the anointing was not upon me I was not born with it are we together a time can come and tonight can be that time if you believe but if you are careless Elijah said if you can see me was he blind it's a spiritual language. There is a measure of sensitivity it takes to truly grab the anointing. It's not about falling down. Look at me. It's not about falling down. It's about your spirit. Station. You are not just hearing. You are seeing what the Lord is saying. Let me tell you something. The difference between you and the next level of your life is the anointing. There is nothing that will cover for the absence of the anointing. I know it. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your throne. Just follow me, follow me. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Yeah, yeah. Shalom, shalom, my father, shalom, shalom, you're welcome in this place, shalom. Jehovah, Baba Shakata Bayada. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Yeah. sensitive what are the keys that have turned ordinary men to wonders workers of miracles what can a man do what is the secret that can open up this fountain in the spirit for no man is born with this thing hear me there is a key there are keys no man is born with unction Jesus himself what can make a man of God so powerful that your words can create an effect in the life of men you are speaking from one end and someone outside is shaking like a leaf what is the key please hear me this is an office I'm not speaking to you as a man 
I can speak to you as a man who has researched this truth. But I speak to you as a custodian of the mystery of this thing. I may not show you, I may not boast that I know business principles. I may not boast that I know on leadership. But I can teach you the mysteries of the presence of God. For it is an office. It was given to me by Jesus Christ. The angels bow before him. The beautiful, beautiful. The heavens are not the door. The angels bow before you. You're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful. Just follow me tonight. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. The heavens and earth adore you. understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will walk in a new dimension believe me understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ministry will change like day and night understand what I'm teaching you tonight and you will become like a God upon the earth understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your ranking will change instantly in the spirit understand what I'm teaching you tonight and your life will become a wonder it's not by quoting scripture it's a realm you can stand in number one the first key to accessing the anointing is salvation don't trivialize it write it and take it as serious as anything there are many people in church who are not born again but they want power there are many pastors on the altar who are not born again but they want power you can fast as an unbeliever you will never find power you can be the pa of a man of god and not be born again please hear me that they ordained you does not mean you are born again are you hearing what i'm saying ah, i tell you i sense fire in this place that you were ordained they poured oil on you does not mean that you are born again let me tell you we can do what we know to do on earth but it depends on whether god approves of it or not ah, 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 ah. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit.
John chapter 1 verse 12 we have to hurry up because God will soon sit in this place the weight of his glory but as many as received him meaning not everybody will receive him as many as received him to them gave he what power the power is for those who receive him not those who are near him not those who go to where he is proximity to god is not salvation let me tell you the truth there are so many people who need to examine their born again i am telling you this there are many people who are not born again are we together and i don't mean just by religious activities no an encounter with jesus christ no there are people who are not born again you will say this and many people will argue with you but the way the early church were born again when they were born again fire fell on them salvation the power to become is for those who receive for those who receive him they are the type God will back God does not back everybody just because Jesus died for everybody does not mean you just speak and things happen. You know, it's, and, and please, if you're a pastor here, hear me. Aside from the impartation you receive tonight, open your eyes. Don't think it's just by wearing suit and holding a mic. Oh, the power of God is here. All these things we keep doing, we fool ourselves. Nothing will cover for the absence of an encounter. Not suit, not English, not Greek and Hebrew. There must be a track record in the secret place. He said that which I tell you in the secret declare thou on the mountain top you don't just come and stand and because they gave you a mic you expect things to happen no sir human beings are not robots are we together human beings are not idiots do you know the power it takes to lift a man off his seat I don't mean physically alone Track record. salvation number two the second key Give us 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. The second key, pay attention to a rich, heavy deposit of the anointing upon your life that is undeniable is addiction and passion for God and His kingdom. Addiction, passion. I'll give you more than a song. For a song in itself Is that what you have required? You search much deeper within To the way things are You're looking into my heart I'm coming back It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. There is no power for part time Christianity. There is no power for part time addiction. There is no power for part time ministry. So many pastors are part time ministers. By part time, I don't mean that you are doing another thing. Part time with God. And part time with ambition, looking for relevance, joining all kinds of stupid associations to quickly rise the ladder of ministry. No, it is God that lifts men. Please hear me. Your addiction for God must supersede your addiction for money, must supersede your addiction for church. Your addiction for Versace and Boss and Gucci. Your addiction for cars and houses. If you want God's power. Except if you want to go and see a herbalist. But if you want the power that comes from heaven. It must match your level of addiction. You will never have more power beyond your addiction. No. Your addiction defines the flow of the anointing. How addicted are you? to God as a person. Two, how addicted are you to
to his kingdom to seeing his kingdom come don't say I'm addicted it shows in your giving it shows in your time it shows in your service in the house of God don't tell me you are addicted to God when you can be comfortable and come and sit in a ministry for months and years and you are not part of building that house you are not addicted no it says as the deer pants after the water brooks so my soul pants after you it was the psalmist that said this he says oh lord you are my god he said early will i seek you my soul thirst for you right to see your power and your glory let me tell you something many christians in our generation we love god we are born again but we are too ashamed of our addiction addiction the same way have you seen someone addicted to uh, what they call this thing indian hemp the person will not mind coming to meet a small child and say sir please give me 10 naira. i have not eaten he's lying so obviously but because he cannot help it if you can still manage your passion for god you don't love him enough Oh, let's let's be real let's let's not act like fools you are joking you want power I'm telling you you must fall in love with God with all your heart not fall in love with the healing anointing many of us are I you know I pray for people and most times when people come that I pray for them so that they will receive double portion or triple portion or whatever I know they don't love God they even love me more than God I see it in their expression that they only love me because we have taught that you should honor a man you know that they love me more than god you know they love that anointing more than god anything above god even if he gave you is an idol whatever it is please hear me do you love god more than your beauty do you love god more than power do you love god more than koinonia do you love god more than joshua selman that's addiction do you love god more than marriage do you love God more than more than whatever it's all these carnal things that take our time? Please fall in love with God in a way that nothing in time. People get jobs. When they lose jobs, they backslide. What a shame to your passion for God. You are in a relationship. Someone says, I will marry you. All of a sudden, he says, I'm not doing, and you leave God. God, I'm angry. Jesus told the disciples, he said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? Where, where are we going? Leaving you is no longer an option. If you never bless me, I still, I mean, I still owe you my love forever. Please, let me tell you something. If you want power from God, stop seeking God just because of things. Stop seeking God just because of things. Oh Lord, I want your time. I want your hand and we bend God's hand with fasting and prayer no how many pastors want to see God glorified in their assemblies very little I can tell you this many pastors fast some of you are like that probably you came from somewhere you are sitting boiling waiting for the time of impartation and God is saying calm down not so so that you will not go back disappointed God is not a herbalist there is a protocol to true spiritual power addiction addiction outspoken Christianity outspoken Christianity not the type you off your ringtone because you are in a place that 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 will fall your hand if God falls your hand you are falling I tell you I rather be a doorkeeper the psalmist said I will trade my palace and its honor to serve God. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. The lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. And I gladly bow my To worship you. MOG, it's time to seek God more than ministry. 
your ministry is distracting you and killing you from God you have carried ministry and put on your head like a luggage that came from demons and you you will afford for your secret place to suffer so that you will fulfill a ministerial schedule I can cancel any ministration for my secret place you know we think being busy is ministry oh today i'm in hawaii tomorrow i'm in dubai next tomorrow i'm in south africa next tomorrow i'm in uk then i'm in Accra, i'm in london and we think because we are hopping up and down we are doing ministry let me tell you you may be doing all these things but before god you are not doing anything your heart is more important than your voice to god don't think because you are always talking it means god is hearing you no your heart number three let's hurry up i want us to pray what is the third key the baptism of the holy ghost the third key to fire in your life is the baptism of the holy ghost slash prayers so you write it slash prayers that the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 7. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. Backed up by the ability to pray in tongues. Fluent tongues. Now, there's no time for me to go into this discussion. Please don't stop, Mike. Don't stop. You see, this concept of prayer and the concept of the baptism of the Holy Spirit has been hijacked by Satan. Please listen to me. It is not a denominational perspective. It has nothing to do with Pentecostalism and charismatism. I was never filled with the Holy Ghost in any church. There is no pastor, no denomination that can claim that it was because I was in the assembly. No. God did that for me specifically so that I will be able to communicate these truths to people. The devil has cheated us. And I know many of us is in fear so that we don't get into witchcraft and diabolism. I understand and I respect your passion. But listen to me. If you want power in this kingdom, that endowment with power, that endowment with power, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 says, Now, when the day of Pentecost were fully come, he said they were gathered together in one accord. Verse 2 says, Suddenly, suddenly, not gradually. The baptism does not happen gradually. Suddenly. Are we together? Suddenly. They had a sound that sound as of a mighty rushing wind and the bible says it came and filled the room and then the bible says they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire and it rested on each each one of them not some they're not as shared each one of them then the bible says then they began to speak with tongues as the holy ghost gave them utterance there were 120 in the upper room it was such an experience that all the people around that place came and saw the mighty things they were doing. And they said, these men were drunk with new wine. They linked that experience with wine. The same way a man drinks beer, one bottle, two bottles, ten bottles. At the eleventh one, is not himself again. Another influence takes him. So when they saw the men, he said, you are behaving like those who have taken this thing. Are we together now? And then in Acts chapter 3, still, well, Acts chapter 2, when Peter finished preaching to them, the Bible says they were caught to the heart. And this is what they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And then he says, repent for the remission of your sins. And then he says, you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and your children and your children's children and as many as are far off as many as the Lord will call that included us are we together yeah 
in Acts chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4 is the most classic explanation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit Paul having passed through the upper coast the Bible says he came and he found certain disciples disciples they were already born again give us Acts please 19 1 to 4 they had passed through the upper coast the Bible says Paul came and found certain disciples are we together and then he asked them a question verse 2 he says have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe meaning it's not the same experience has been born again initiated by the same spirit but there are two separate experiences have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed and then they replied him they said we have not even heard if there be any Holy Ghost and Paul was surprised and then he says unto what then were you baptized he was asking them a question and they said the baptism of John then Paul began to explain to them he said the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance that they should believe on the one who was to come that means it was Jesus Christ and afterwards Paul said the, the Bible says they were now baptized to the name of Jesus Christ and then Paul laid his hands upon them and then the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues right they were 12 in number have you received the Holy Ghost have you received that empowerment since you believed when you read let's read from 18 18 the last five verses if you can give it to us right the Bible talks about a very intelligent man hallelujah um, no not 19 verse 18 18 Acts 18 Acts 18 please the last four verses Acts 18 Media, are you with us? Acts 18. Okay, let's just let's just turn there so we don't waste time. Okay. Now the Bible says, give us from verse 24. Let's start from 24. Listen to this story. A certain Jew named who? Apollos. And the Bible says Apollos was born at Alexandria. He said he was a man who was mighty in scriptures. He was eloquent. He was an orator. Are we together? And then the Bible says he came to Ephesus. Ephesus is not the place you come and preach nonsense. It's where Paul got his revelation of the highest church truth. There was a goddess called Diana in Ephesus. She was the goddess that controlled that center of economy. So you had to be sound and mighty in scriptures. Now Apollos came. Next verse. 25. He said the man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And was what? Fervent in spirit. Zealous. The Bible says. And he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord. But he had a limitation. What was his limitation? Knowing only the baptism of John. He was born again and he knew repentance like many people in churches like many pastors they are zealous they love god but the scope of the understanding of god is the baptism of john let's see what happened one day he went to a crusade to impress everybody as usual he says and he began to speak in the synagogue and then there were two strange men in that synagogue they were men who were powerful people of the spirit called Aquila and Priscilla they said when they had him and they they took him with them they said we see zeal in you but you are limited there is a theology that has not been taught to you we want to upgrade your scope of the understanding of God the Bible says they took him hear me and then they says they expounded to him the way of God more what perfectly let's see what he did as a result next verse and when he was disposed and passed to Achaia, the brethren wrote exhorting the disciples to receive him. The Bible says, who when he was come, he helped them much which believed through grace. Let's see what he did. Next verse. For he mightily convinced the Jews. Now he had an evidence. He didn't just speak to them. In the former verses, he was eloquent. Sorry. But now he could convince them 
that publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ this was not just just again there was an evidence there was an empowerment listen you must be tired of explanations oh God is this God is that one miracle can answer a thousand questions there is no amount of message you want to preach that will impress men again the internet is full of messages there are all kinds of men of God with perspectives all across Africa all across the world messages are now free what the world needs is a demonstration of power Romans chapter 8 please verse 19 Romans chapter 8 for the earnest expectation of the creator waited for the manifestation not the explanation not the discussion let's see it in the new living translation or the message bible I'm looking for the version that says creation is waiting for the sons to reveal who they truly are there is a version like that 8 verse 19 not 20 8 verse 19 8 verse 19 uh, thank you NLT for creation is what eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are because the Bible says it does not yet appear they are still looking at us and they think we are like them but there is an activity happening in us the bible says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god are we together the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be like we are still in the formation there is still a building christ is still being formed in us like paul prayed to the church he said my little children of whom i travel until christ be formed for when he's done let me tell you he will produce a wonder in our lives first corinthians 2 verse 7 quickly and then we'll go to the last key and we'll pray first corinthians 2 verse 7 he says talking about the mystery of this language of the spirit he said no please give it to us um okay no problem no problem let's just sleep again it says no the wisdom we speak it doesn't make sense but the bible calls it the hidden wisdom god put it like that so that only humble people can walk in it if you are not humble enough to receive that hidden wisdom the bible says we speak the wisdom we speak of is what the mystery everybody say mystery the same way there is a traditional festival and you see people going around fire and making enchantments and putting fire on their body have you seen that happen and it doesn't burn them they put the fire in their mouth and bring it out they carry knife and put it in their mouth and it enters and brings it out because they are operating on a mystery the bible says to the believer there is a mystery that has been given you It says the mystery of God his plan that was he previously hidden what was it he said even though he made it for our ultimate glory so one secret to your entering the glory is this mystery called tongues when a man locks up himself and begins to pray people say you are just talking nonsense no problem it's the same way you talk nonsense and call it laughter <laughs> and nobody laughs at you it's intelligent in fact people accuse you for not laughing who taught you how to laugh the same way your cry as sarcastic as it looks it compels compassion tongues is also like that don't let anybody tell you you are taught to pray in tongues when you slap a baby Shade, when you gave birth to your child and they slapped the child and the child started crying who taught the child that they cry with the mouth not the eyes it was programmed there listen 
I want you to know that the believer is supernatural. When you remove the supernatural, we are just herbalists. Leaders or, and followers of a religion. Don't remove the supernatural dimension. Hallelujah. Made for our glory. Any man who does not pray cannot reveal the glory of God. There is a relationship between prayer and power. Acts 1 verse 8, you shall receive power. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4, they receive tongues. Jesus didn't say you will receive tongues. He said you receive power. But in Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. Meaning there is a system that tongues uses to translate and produce power in a man. It was Paul himself that said, I thank my God. I pray in tongues more than ye all. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, he spake a parable unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 1 Thessalonians 5 17, pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean pray from morning till night, you'll be an irresponsible person. It means pray consistently. The Bible says, and the fire upon the altar, it shall never go down day or night. Let me tell you something whatever attacks your prayer life has really destroyed your life it's cheaper for your finances to be attacked than for your prayer life it's cheaper as bad as it is for your health to be attacked than your prayer life and let me tell you how satan attacks you he makes you to resent everybody that can help you you fight and quarrel them and push them when you are alone then he attacks you satan never attacks you until he creates an occasion through bitterness, through anger, through fault finding. So everybody that can help you and intercede for you, he cuts you away from them and then he leaves you alone. Solitude is a sign that darkness is close to you. Listen, listen. Excessive solitude, I'm not talking of just retreating to pray. When there is a desire in you to not hear people, to not listen, you are in a world of your own, it's a sign that darkness is close to you. It's a strategy for your destruction. The last key to receiving unction to reveal the glory is called impartation. The mystery of impartation. Transference of grace. Transference of unction. Transference of power. Numbers chapter 27 We'll just look at one example so that we pray. Let's see what transpired between Moses and Joshua. A classic sign of biblical impartation. Numbers 27. Verse 18 to 23. Numbers chapter 27. Please write this scripture down and study it with all your heart. This was God instructing Moses to prepare Joshua for ministry. Are we together? Are you ready? Let's read. One to read. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and do what? Lay your hands upon him. That's what should happen. Next verse. And set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Are we together? And he says, and thou shalt put some of thine honor. Can you show me where honor is in a man? God said, don't just, through impartation, transfer your spirit, transfer your honor. I told you honor is not something you fight for. It's a mantle. That all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient there is a mantle that makes men loyal to a grace it's not by shouting and saying obey me there is a mantle and he shall stand before Eleazar the priest who shall speak counsel for him and so on and so forth and so on and so forth now let's see what happened Deuteronomy chapter 3 chapter 34 verse 9 just one scripture. Deuteronomy 34. It's still a continuation of this story. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. 
Let's read together. One, two, read. Uh huh. Was full of the spirit of wisdom. Why? For Moses had what? Laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. Listen. You know why people don't listen to you? Because you are trying to do ministry using seniority. You are trying to do ministry saying, don't disrespect me. There is an unction that compels loyalty. Men are not loyal to a man just because he can preach. They will clap for you. When you see a ministry that can follow a man unto death, brothers and sisters, there is a mystery upon his head. I can tell you Koinonia has that mystery. You see, ba, there are secrets in this kingdom. There are secrets in this kingdom. The one you can find is the one you will live by. The one you do not know is the one that will change you forever. God said, I want to honor Joshua, but I will not ignore a vessel who is already carrying it. He said, Moses, it is within your power to put your spirit and your honor upon him. Listen, you can carry a man's grace and the virtue of God upon his life and reap. You can trace an anointing and know where it came from. Are we together? You can see a man stand on stage and know that this came from Benihim. This one. You can see this prayer fire and know this one came from Duncan Williams. This one did not just come from this. You can see a prosperity mantle and trace it. Anointings are like address. They can show you where they came from. I'm a product of many anointings. The glory revealed through the anointing. The anointing giving you capacity to produce an evidence. An evidence and evidence there are different kinds of anointings there is the power to prosper shout it say the power to prosper i want you to shout it like you mean it say the power to prosper, the power to prosper. this is what many people need to pray for i'm not against business ideas i teach you principles there's financial dominion but i can tell you there is such a thing as the power to prosper. If you don't have it, I've seen people who have all kinds of business ideas. But the power to prosper is not a business idea. The power to prosper is a grace that compels creation to respond to you in a certain way. Jesus had it. He said, go. And you will see a donkey, a coat. No man had written on it. Bring it. The owner could not say no. What kind of grace is that? That's the grace that will make you tell somebody, we need speakers for our program. And he said, take it. That's the grace that will make somebody say, take my car and be using it for this crusade. There is such a grace. Let me tell you something. How you will know the power to prosper is not in your life is that you pay for everything. If you pay for everything, the power to prosper is not. It's not about being a millionaire. The power to prosper is not about being a millionaire. It's about the supernatural speaking in your life. Men are rising to help you when there is trouble. Listen, if you are in trouble and there is no man who can arise to help you, I'm telling you, the power to prosper is not the power for finances. We have reduced it to money. Every time preachers preach, they, they mean the power to give you dollars. Please, don't insult God. Money was an idea. By the time that scripture was written, there was no naira, there was no dollar. It's the power that moves you forward. Even if it must raise helpers from anywhere. I want you to believe this by the grace of God this is how this ministry came the power to prosper listen please I don't know how I don't want you to think money money is part of it if you think money you will be you will think I am saying 
the power to get money to buy watch and suit that's nonsense that's not what i'm talking about to prosper means to do well to prosper means by all means you will excel are we together the pros the power to prosper is the power that moves men to support your interest at the expense of their own interest when you see a man a man who can leave his own assignment and pursue another man's assignment there is power to prosper there that's what God wanted to give us but pastors have told us the power to prosper is the power to buy a nice shoe and you sit down and pray for hours you don't need to be born again to buy a nice shoe you just need to offer value and it will come this is this is not about getting money for shoe the power that causes men to move you forward you can have money but do you have helpers you can have money but do you have endorsers you can have money but do you have men that can lift your hand this is the power to prosper say I need the power to prosper the key to suffering in a Christian's life is to ignore the power to prosper believe me you may get a job very soon you find out that money does not do everything money is not everything money is very important don't get me wrong but money is not everything there are people today who are in houses that they are not paying the rent that's the power to prosper you can have 500,000 to rent a duplex you can have 2.5 million to rent a duplex that's not necessarily the power to prosper that's good financial acumen good financial intelligence and that's commendable but the power to prosper is that you can leave your house with nothing and return back with miracles because there are men stationed anywhere whether you forget your money or not it doesn't make any difference because there is an unction that sends helpers as at when due that's the power to prosper and if our God is for us then who can never stop us and if our God is with us then what can stop us help me Of the power to prosper is the ministry of men in your life the ministry of men in your life help us everywhere please listen it's not just intelligence to produce results by yourself this body is limited there is too much you can do there is only so much you can do with this body are we together yes see let me tell you something if the only job of the power to prosper is to give you money then Bill Gates can mock the church are we together you know we think all there is to the power to prosper is money I don't insult any man of God we have preached this thing but I'm saying we have limited the power to prosper to money so those who don't like money just say no 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 I don't like it to reject the power to prosper is like to cut two of your legs in the spirit how else will you move are we together the Bible says David was in the cave of Adullam by himself all of a sudden 400 men that's the power to prosper they came to him in the cave and they said be a leader of the, over us we will hear you and we will walk with you in ancient times you were not rich if you just had money they can come and beat you and kill you and remove your head and carry the gold you were rich if you had people people it was a battle of territory and loyalty but in our generation now you can be a, a greedy person that just looted from the national treasury and carry money and buy suits and come and deceive us we know what the power to prosper is there are people who are rich but they do not have it that's why they don't give god the glory when you suffer for everything you can't give god the glory are we together you suffer to get a job you suffer to keep it you suffer to buy a car you suffer to change another one you suffer to get your wife pregnant suffering all around how can you give God the glory but when you sit down and watch God God will say son I want to embarrass you stand still you have done something that has touched me stand still hallelujah 
one time we we're coming back from Ekiti and when we we're coming back from Ekiti I don't share too much of these testimonies but someone just did a heavy transfer into the ministry's account honestly I don't even know the person I had to ask the protocol people do you know this person help us everywhere not just cash not just kind someone will come and meet you and say there is a property somewhere I could not sleep the Lord said I should bless you power to prosper someone says from today until December I will fuel the generator of koinonia don't even tell apostle that's the power to prosper they make your journey easy by making you lighter you can have the money but you won't sleep because of it let me tell you one of the graces I trust God to release tonight is the power to prosper I'm explaining it to you so that you will believe if it's not in your life you are going to cry this night because some of us it, once you are stranded you are dead there no helper you call and everybody ends your call it's not about hustling it's about Ebenezer the helper of Zion are we together If you don't believe what I'm teaching you, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Are we together? There are so many people in Koinonia here preparing for marriage. The economy of Nigeria has become so fierce. If you don't have the power to prosper, you will suffer. You can get a job after laboring for years in the university. You get a job and someone just says, where are you from? And you say, I'm Yoruba. He says, you are not Hausa. Leave the job. It just brings in sentiments to cancel your five, six, seven years of labor. That's the world we live in now. Are we together? Are you my brother? Are you a Christian or otherwise? Are you this? Are you from the same village? Not what do you have to give? In that world of wickedness, you want to move forward? You want to plant a church. I was not born in Zaria. I'm not from Kaduna State. You don't go to another man's state and do ministry if you don't have the power to prosper. There is loyalty that comes with territory. Are we together? That's why Jesus told the people, start from Jerusalem. But when you go to a foreign territory, brothers and sisters, you need the power to prosper. That's what our fathers have used. And they have opened branches of their ministries in UK, in France. Huh? Someone speaks Yoruba and another person interprets in French and the people never leave. There is a pastor writing things in France and people would rather stay there and redeem. MFM is there, moving as if the devil does not exist. You will find places where I was, I was dedicating a woman's child. Um, she used to be in Zaria but now she's in France. She was in Holland. God used us, you know, and then there was a miracle for her. After many years, she had a child and she went to different churches. The Presbyterian churches there were not dedicating children. They didn't collect tithes and they were not dedicating children because the government was sanctioning. And I told her, I said, uh -uh, you mean there's no church around? And she said, the only living church in this area is redeemed. I said, redeemed again. Redeemed again. How did you get there now? And the pastor there is a Yoruba person. Come on now. Power to prosper. You enter a land and become indomitable. A firm grasp of territories. Not intimidated by any government. They will come and go. The mystery keeps you there. Now they are downsizing workers. Between now and December, a lot will happen. I've told us, I told us at 1st of January, this thing will not go well in terms of the economy. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I told us there is a mystery of exemption. That's why God said this is a year of multiplied grace and influence. Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3. It says Gentiles shall come. Hallelujah. If you are looking for a better Nigeria this year, I tell you the truth under God, you are joking. I love Nigeria. Are we together? I'm a very loyal citizen of this nation. But this is prophecy 
is an unfolding of events some things will happen the only thing is that there is an exemption the power to prosper please you, you we, when it's time to pray you will cry it in your life that's what makes you different from unbelievers are we together that's the only condition where you can look at your life and give God glory you say no I know the school fees of my children before I will go to pay it someone has paid it and he will never tell you who he is write it again if you did not write it the ultimate proof that the anointing to prosper is upon your life is the ministry of men the ministry of helpers not just business ideas it takes men to make things happen have you not seen people with ideas and they died with their ideas someone called pastor Tunde Bakare and told him he said I love you and I've invested 200 million in an investment for you it's just growing whenever you need it they can talk to you and he said what for he said I'm okay and the man said no I had to do it you are my pastor Hi. when a man argues with you about blessing you there is such a thing and we are going to pray there are many other anointings the power listen the power to heal the sick there are three I'm going to teach us ah, there's no time let me just go straight to the three that the Lord told me that's number one the power to prosper number two are you ready it's called resurrection power don't claim you know what it is just listen to me resurrection power is about the apex the zenith of a man's manifestation of the anointing what is resurrection the ability to make dead things come back to life is the hallmark of creation are we together let me tell you something there is resurrection power the bible says Ephesians please help us Ephesians 1 verse 17 we are reading down to 20 for this call Paul says for this cause I Paul I bow my knees right to the father of glory that he may give unto you listen the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him next verse the eyes of your understanding being enlightened or flooded with light he said that he may what know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints here it comes verse 19 read it if you're a christian one to go and what is the exceeding greatness of his what power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power what mighty power next verse which he wrought in christ when he what raised him the power that can raise a thing that has died is power indeed the power that can heal what is alive is power but the power that can raise what is dead come on you carry that anointing and enter a lifeless environment and something gives life Isaiah 32 verse 15 we are praying this one scripture and then we we'll stand up and pray let me show you that there is an ability that can bring life to dead things it is called resurrection power brothers and sisters get this anointing and your life will change no matter what it is it's a matter of time and influence upon you read it 32 want to read until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then what happens and the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine uh -huh. and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's the power of resurrection you step into a desert place spirit have your way in us today spirit take your throne as we are changed
dimension, hear me, is the power that restores. Ezekiel chapter 37. There is an anointing that can restore. I tell you, I feel the anointing of the spirit. Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit. Listen. And set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of what? Bones. No structure. This power of restoration together with the power of resurrection and the power to prosper will make you indomitable. Believe me. Verse 2. Verse 2. And cause me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many bones and they were what? Very dry. Listen, you will step into the life of people with age-long issues. The devil has stolen from them. It's not just that the situation is dead. It was stolen. Then, son of man, verse 3, he says, can these bones live? And he says, only thou west verse 4 this is one key to releasing the anointing and he said unto me prophesy speak Hagar speak command Hagar instruct compel let it be upon these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones who speaks to bones? Who speaks to bones? Dogs eat bones. Men throw bones. God speaks to bones. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. And then let's read verse 5. And behold, I will cause bread to enter you. Go to verse 7. So I prophesied, not as I wanted, as I was commanded. And there was what? A noise. The same noise in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. There was a sound. And behold, a shaking. And the Bible says, and behold, bones came together. This is not just resurrection. This is restoration. Are we together? We are going to pray. Hold hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues like an angry man who is tapping into power. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a man, like a woman who is about to take delivery of unction to function praise reketepo kocho
Alléluia. Alléluia. I like you to look in one minute at your life. See the barriers that have stood before you. Because they are about to be smashed into pieces. Something is about to come upon your life. That will move you forward. Something is about to come upon your life. That will drive you to the next level. Something is about to come upon your life. The power to run. The power to run. The power to run. The power to fly. The power to run. Please lift your hands. Listen, it is not about falling down. Don't be distracted with falling down. Open your spirit and receive something that will change your life. Don't just focus on falling down. The Holy Ghost is doing his thing. But beyond falling down, open up your heart to receive. Children, adults, don't say no. Some people cannot receive. You have a child, stand for them. Don't say they cannot receive. Hallelujah. Paul said, For I long to see you, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. The glory of God is revealed in a man when there is an anointing. Right now in the name that is above all names. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic office. And I declare that at the count of three. By the ministry of angels. By the unction. By the ministry and the mystery that surrounds this office right now at the count of three I declare that this unction fall inside and outside online and everywhere one two three take it take it take it right now receive it power receive it Fire Shaka Baba Katala Baba inside the overflows right now, right now, right now. Every row, every row, every column, every row. The thousands following online. I release it upon you. You that are listening in your home, you that are listening in your room. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost in your life, in your ministry, in your business. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power. Take it now. Lift your hand. There is an anointing called the power to prosper. Lift your hands and receive it. I pray for you now. Shaka Paratai. I have seen this in my life. I have seen this in this ministry. 
the ministry of man making your life easy right now in the name of Jesus receive the power to prosper take the power to prosper take the power to prosper in your ministry take the power to prosper in your job the power to prosper in your academics the power to prosper in your business the power to prosper by this anointing every struggle in your life where you labor by yourself for result it comes to an end this night it comes to an end this night number two the power that can quicken things if that same spirit which raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body that same spirit will revitalize ay, 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 will revitalize hallelujah the Lord is giving me a sign for many of you to be your right hand I don't know what I'm saying but your right hand in a supernatural way your right hand I see the right hand of many people shaking this is what the Lord is showing me right now that anointing for resurrection all over this auditorium take it now take it now take it now take it now every dead thing come alive come alive Talita Kumi come alive Talita Kumi dead academics that relationship Bible says and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm if you have not lost anything in your life you don't need to pray this prayer if you have not lost anything don't lift your hands don't worry 
but if you are among those who need true restoration you have wasted years time has passed opportunities pass and you need a rapid response listen the bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore there is a man who can call for restoration there is an unction that will restore to you lift your hands not only will God restore he will give you grace to be an agent of restoration therefore right now I pray that unction for restoration according to Ezekiel 37 that sound that wind right now may that sound come upon your life take it now take it now Take it now. Take it now. Go and restore your family. Take it now. Go and restore the fortunes that has been lost. Take it now. Go back. Experience academic restoration. Now, now. Academic restoration. Jack back to 2-1. Jack back to first class. Jack back to 2-1. Jack back to first class. Go back and get a job. Whatever made you lose your job, a new job comes by this anointing. Take it now. Where you would have been promoted, but sentiments kept you. Not only will you be promoted, it must be backdated. In the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life, you will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing this. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil. Right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hand, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Leave God people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every heart of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go! Go! Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus. 
the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Oh, te prende kitama baladabaya. Reto siha bakatam dagata. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? One, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hands. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft Go put be released now. Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening. Many of you will leave this place, you will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside. Two people, in fact. The fire of God will rush upon them right now. In a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it. Outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire 
like wildfire it will come upon you please let me help the ladies like wildfire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrette brega de boxa. Ni va so paria cavaria doste che barata ta. I prato se palia na bacosse che de bregadia. Preteste barata bacosse che de leva. Si panda baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. Sipa <laughs> We plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Sipa la mata, 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles now you know we are bounded by time if we're doing an afternoon program we can take so many things hallelujah so I want it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing it, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify to encourage us but we don't have all of that time now there are so many people there are people after this meeting now may return to certain places hallelujah please and please please and please we don't fake miracles in this place we don't we believe in the power of God I know that many people have come trusting God for healing and I know that some of us have come with our loved ones hallelujah praise God please I want us to be orderly in this place no fighting no nothing by the grace of God we are going to minister to everybody one by one hallelujah praise God so please and please i want you to cooperate with us hallelujah the worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ those of you standing lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people please pray please pray his presence is here to him oh hallelujah we give you praise those of you coming out please begin to pray and say lord my time has come i know you have all kinds of medical reports forget about them right now hiv cases cancer cases whatever it is genotype don't worry jesus is lord in this place lord we thank you please let's save time if you've not written your prayer request start writing it his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. To heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. Oh, I am Lord. The healing team. His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can this bone? hallelujah I want you to know whatever the situation is there is a God we are not against doctors we have doctors here as workers but let me tell you it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best when you have done your best leave it all to Jesus Christ 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jakes is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate and let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. you go back and begin to check yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. Deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm. If I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself, easy myself, the thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, 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 you done, done for me. me. What no one else will do? Say, may love, Jehovah, Daddy. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry you will be the first to be healed come hold my hand pile go now you are a devil of darkness i curse you out from her life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus daddy I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 
Look at this 30 year stroke 30 year stroke 30 year stroke Come on now, look at Look at Look at, look at what is happening to him 30 year stroke Come on, give Jesus praise 30 years stroke Look at, look at Look at this man Come on, son Hey, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now. Hold on. Hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright, sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. When she don't say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. 
That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be beautiful? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister. She's not here. That one. Is she around? Come. Come. Come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. Please, kind God, oh. I never see in kind, no. This guy God, oh. Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a day. Can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wounds right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now. We will be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship him, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro na ne aje Israel. Ne aje Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so take fi ya leading ya in south south. Say ya edo guda kudu sin Jesus du keshi. So ko chire she the go fourth floor. Sing yet the Shakasa, Saka Karaba, Pudia, Wajashi, Tun Dezeba fourteen. In a Pama, Israel, Shine Asa, and Ache. Am I Nike and Zoo? Hari and Zoo? Am I in Zoo? Look at Chile, our Fadi, and Cheba, there you Bunganaba, there you Rubutuba, there you take fear about. Ugasi Ache to a chick about the truth in Dishi, I do a layagia machi, there you take fear, there you Mugana, there you Rubutu. So, Yenzungena Rubutu, Yena Magana, and Makofa, they be far at the fear. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, 
all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kabala toza tabaranda kalibata. Zidelem brashko brande kalabati la kabraste brasti satabala. Mande ke braske la tosko baridalaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Pochechet. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk. Every broken bone, we mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his office sometimes go. Go back. Come on, get the cafe. Hurry and as well. Yeah. At the kafa. They call it Senyin Kashiabi in Aosa. That's what? Rheumatism. Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Aosa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any, any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I My God, heal now. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out,
collecting the prayer request very quickly start collecting the prayer request very quickly
go back and check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles in the name of jesus christ be made whole in jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come come just come just come 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 at this come on now koinonia celebrate jesus he's walking by himself don't worry you will not fall they are supporting you just come just come leave them that walk by yourself come come thank you jesus come come on koinonia he's walking by himself Exercising the leg.
me Everything's changed And nothing is the same Everything has changed oh, for me Every 
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, breaking. wherever it is, breaking. it's breaking, yeah. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, paint tongues. Shele braka to la man mang do si prega la 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 boko so para ba la braka la 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 ba do si mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 boko so para ya da 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 boko so para ya da da boko so para ya da 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 boko so Rata <laughs> Lord, your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light, real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord. And right before the prophet left the temple, answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto, shimile gam from siki parodos, sile branda karabados. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i declare that i begin to make progress in my life i submit to the authority of jesus i denounce sin and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of jesus christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of jesus christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now i'd like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they'll have your details and then we'll communicate to you celebrate them koinonia thank you so much everybody lift your hands please rise rise as we pray praise the lord by the way let me celebrate pastor pete rock's wife she's, she's been hiding hallelujah if you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow clap hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please i'd like you to shout amen as we pray he said son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy hallelujah praise the lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names i pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body i command that it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now hallelujah the bible says and esther found favor before the king and the king said what shall i do to you even up to half of my kingdom i pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord i command divine connections in the name of jesus christ he said and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south. God can take a man from a dunghill and place him above. Even if you are not working, you can stand for your loved ones. Man, de I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives, whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered. We release it now. We release it now. We release it now. We release it now. Hallelujah. And Elijah told his servant, he said, check. And he came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go and check again. And he said, I saw a cloud like the feast of a man. I pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook Cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supplies. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Amen. Scripture said, they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare, anyone marked for death here, or any family marked for death, either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness, the blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, As for me and my house, I prayed for you. Now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said, I bore him in sorrow. And Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today, we change that name right now. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everywhere. Inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place I command it to come back alive every dead word life I command it to come back alive now Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. 
that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you